taking part in fresco ball. For those of you at home that don't know fresco ball, follow me. I believe this sport was started in Brazil. I'm not too sure. But we'll get to the culture here too. Basically, you have to see the size of the paddles. Right? Wooden paddles, sponge ball. Wooden paddles, sponge balls. And the object isn't to hit the ball past the person, it's to actually hit it to the person and see how many rallies you can get over say like three minutes. So see how many times you can go back and forth at each other. So this is the beginner side. Come with me. Get rid of the intermediate. Nice. Good rally. Good rally. So this is your first time seeing this sport. What do you think? It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. What do you think is good about it? I like the way they move and they pass it with power and accuracy at the same time. It's you, think, you think that sport can help your basketball? Probably for the accuracy part of things. And the athleticism, stand on your toes like you do on defense. See? There you go. All right. They want they warming up. Be nervous. Let's go see the pros. <laughs> now the gentleman down on this end. He and his colleague here have decided to put this thing together and make this a nationwide sport for kids here in the UK. Now what they're doing now is just warming up. Give me the best of the best. Get some of this live footage of what it can look like. Wow. Go on, coach. Nice, nice. Pace, accuracy, stamina. What a great sport. Really like to thank these guys for bringing this sport to the UK, making it available. It's a great thing. So much style. That requires pace, accuracy, athleticism, stamina, and you have to stay on your toes. So it works all parts of your body. So it's a great sport for kids, it's a great sport for adults. This is fresco ball, throw it heat. <laughs> What's right? You got a hole in your paddle? <laughs> 